Having had much success with the lower microwave frequencies over the past year, here's a look at the first successful 10 gig contact between VK3FS in Mount Martha and VK3KRD at Mount Kuroit. The path distance is 77 kilometres, pretty much clear line of sight of which two thirds of the path is over water. Robert VK3KRD and Neil VK3BCU went portable to a dirt road adjacent to Mount Kuroit, which is northwest of Melbourne at an elevation of 200 metres. It's uh, 7.26 on the 24th of February 2021 and we're just trying out some narrow band 10 gigs, uh, upper side band and we're going to try and work uh, VK3FS across the water which is I think we're straight through there now. over right there the, somewhere just to the right of the city just to the right of the city yeah, so aiming, uh, and there's the city, the city. there's the city uh, Martha, somewhere in there yep I was on Mount Martha in a new estate which is 126 metres above sea level with clear unobstructed views south from the heads of Port Phillip Bay to Melbourne's eastern suburbs to the north In microwave, like all things amateur radio, things don't always go to plan the first time, and this was no exception. There have been a few failed attempts previously where dodgy coax relays and path issues dogged us. All that was about to change on our third portable outing. At Mount Kuroit, Rob's IF radio was a Yaesu FT780R with a 15 dB pad between the radio and the transverter. His antenna was a 600 mm prime focus dish, fed with a homebrew waveguide and flange. Rob's takeoff to the south, despite being rather high, was not totally unencumbered. At Mount Martha, my station's IF was an IC705, and I was using a 750 mm offset dish. But the focal point was one of Paul W1GHZ's dual band 10 and 24 gig feed horns. It's a one piece machined horn designed for common offset dishes that works exceptionally well on both bands. My path north was clear across the bay to the city. Both our stations were using Kuhn 10 gigahertz transverters with an output power on average of 250 milliwatts. So after the initial setbacks and disappointments, the stage was set for the third attempt over the bay at a distance of 77 kilometres. With a beeper transmitting from Mount Martha, it was up to Rob to do the fine tuning. Beeper is beeping as we speak. Sounds a bit like this. We have success. I need to get the antenna up here. It's very, it's very super sharp. It's very sharp. Yeah, I, I imagine it would be. Uh, beams and horns, yes. Uh, sorry, uh, dishes and horns. Okay, we've had success. We're receiving Andrew's beeper. There you go, success. <laughs> 10 gigs. That's Andrew 3FS on 10368.1. Uh, 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 it's about 80 kilometres. Actually, you want to modulate it? We could play it back to Andrew anyway, play it back to him on the radio. Uh, oh yeah. There he goes. Q5. What was that? Q5. 
We're going to call you now. VK3FS, VK3FS, VK3 KRD calling, VK3FS. VK3 KRD calling, VK3. VK3 on 10 gigs, VK3 KRD calling, VK3 KRD on 10 gigs, VK3 KRD on 10 gigs. You are 5 by 1, you are 5 by 1. 3FS, you are 5 by 1. 3 over to you, 3 KRD. Uh, Roger, Roger on the five by nine. Roger, Roger on the five by nine. Five by nine. Yes, you are five by one. Five by one. Uh, so uh, maybe it's the attenuator on the. Um, uh, it could be the attenuator. Can we get rid of that? Uh, causing um, the problem. I'll try it without the attenuator um, in a minute. There, VK. Over to you. Three FS. Uh, three KRD. Portable. Over. Over. Yeah, you're good solid five and nine, Rob, over there on Mount Kuroi and uh, up here in Mount Martha. It's uh, it's uh, settled down a bit now, it's not so breezy, but yeah, you're a solid five and nine, and I haven't adjusted my antenna in uh, any way, shape or form, apart from basically pointed in your general direction, which is uh, sort of straight across the bay at 336 degrees. VK3KRD, VK3FS on 10 gig. Lift your receive, try to get your receive up a bit by removing the uh, transmitter attenuator, removing the transmitter attenuator. So uh, just. Uh Yeah, roger, roger, Rob. Okay, no problems. Yeah, but it's a really, really nice 10 gig signal, 3 uh, KRD, 3 FS. Attenuator out is the retenuator we use is to attenuate the transmit, but it's a 15 DB attenuator in the IF, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I've got a pre-amp in on this uh, 705, which uh, might be aiding a little bit, so yeah, other than that, it's a, a really nice signal. 3FS, I'll just give you a call of VK3KRG. Yes, um, running uh, 300 milliwatts here, 300 milliwatts uh, into a 60 centimetre dish, uh, Andrew, and uh, it's very sharp. And uh, but um, yeah, you're uh, getting stronger all the time there. VK, back to you, 3FS, 3KRD. Yeah, okay, Rob, don't worry. Uh, 300 milliwatts is pretty good. I'm running all of my good 200 milliwatts, so you beat me by a pet. Uh, roger, roger. Well, according to the data sheet, according to the data sheet, it's um, it says it's 280 milliwatts to be exact, 280 milliwatts. So, uh, Think that's uh, too much uh, difference. But, Having uh, achieved a contact on 10 gigahertz, it was time to revisit the 3.4 gigahertz path. Previously, Neil and I did a test with printed circuit board antennas supplied with the SG Laboratory 3.4 gigahertz transverters. In this test, Neil was pointing the antenna away from me, so the starting signal was through his body. He then slowly rotated 180 degrees to face me while transmitting. Okay, 180 degrees, coming around, coming around 90 degrees, 90 degrees, point towards Robert, coming around, coming around, and I'm pointing roughly towards you right now. Yeah, and you're back up to S9, which is uh, terrific. That's a really nice signal. Today, Neil swapped out the printed circuit board antenna for a panel antenna, and I kept the PCB antenna attached. So get a reading on that and I've tweaked the panel on you as best I can, bearing in mind that the uh, S meter doesn't really help us. And uh, then I'll uh, put the uh, the circuit board on uh, 3FS, 3BCU. You know we're near as strong, which uh, is what you would expect. So I'm just doing a direct comparison. Uh, let's see, it's what I expected, which is good. I mean, that the uh, circuit board's good, but the panel's obviously uh, an expert at 3FS, 3BCU. In conclusion, the panels will give you a few S points more than the PCB antenna. But if you're after a lightweight kit to climb a hill with, the PCB antennas are worth the inclusion. A rather successful day all round. Next, we're looking to increase the distance and replicate these tests. Yeah, VK, 3FS, portable 3 car, D, portable. Yes, sure. What we've done here is nothing new in the world of amateur radio. 
but they are personal bests. If you have any interest in moving to the microwave bands, it can be a challenging and very rewarding aspect of our hobby.